All right, this is Catherine. Um, my birthday is tomorrow. I'm going to be 47 years old. I can't believe it. Ah! It's okay. I've mostly accepted it. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit, though, about my deceased great-aunt Kit. I've been thinking about her lately. Her birthday uh, would have been July 13th. Um, she died about 20 years ago. I think she was born in 1914. So, I mean, if she were alive, she'd be over 100. Um, but anyway, my great-aunt Kit... Um, has the same name as I do. The same first name, Catherine, spelled the same way, and the same last name. And our birthdays were three days apart. So anyway, Kit lived across the street from my parents' house growing up, and, you know, she was a big part of my life. Like, she, you know, would babysit for me and my brother sometimes, and you know, there were times that I just went to her house, hung out with her. Um, so I think without realizing it, my, my Aunt Kit did, um, you know, was kind of a role model for me in certain ways, for better and for worse. Nobody's perfect. Everybody has good and bad qualities. But anyway, my Aunt Kit... I think was ahead of her time. You know, she was extremely independent. She worked for the telephone company for many years and she owned her own home. She lived alone in her own home all her life. Um, she was like the youngest of eight children, you know, Catholic family, Irish Catholic, German. And, um, yeah, she owned her own home. She paid for it in cash, like $5,000 at the time. She had her own car. She drove. You know, she did socialize with people. She'd go to, like, bingo and stuff, socialize with people. And uh, she hung out with one of her sisters sometimes and, uh, you know, a couple of her older brothers so anyway, my Aunt Kit had a lot of personality. Like, she, um, she, I don't know, she was a forceful person. Like, she would, um, you know, she would laugh a lot, and she would be cheerful, and she would be fun, but she also... Uh, could be, like, irritable and, um, and kind of, like, pushy and controlling in a way. Like, she was the kind of person that if you were sick and she was babysitting you, you know, while you were home from school and you were sick, like, she would insist on, like, brushing your hair, putting Vicks VapoRub on your neck and on your chest. Like, she was very, like this is what we're going to do, you know, like, you'd just be, like, sick and being, like, I just want to lie here, I just want to lie here, you know, I don't want to, don't brush my hair, don't do the vapo, but, you know, she could be really, like, pushy like that, and, um, you know, one of my favorite examples of my great aunt Kit is she, one time when it, you know, this was many years ago, obviously, when it became, um, started to become known that smoking was a bad thing to do, an unhealthy thing to do if you were pregnant. And she once went up to a stranger who was pregnant and smoking and said to her, you know, you're not supposed to smoke when you're pregnant. That's really unhealthy, you know, for the baby, and the woman blew smoke in my Aunt Kit's face. But the point is, my Aunt Kit, I mean, she wasn't afraid. Like, she would just, she felt strongly about the 
baby pregnancy smoking thing and she felt the need to like say it to a stranger and that's what she did like that's how she was um she would try to change her own oil in her car and I think you know she fucked up her car because she would try to do work on it herself and didn't know about auto mechanics or you know doing auto mechanic stuff on a car um, she had this really loud, like, broken muffler, and I remember being in the car with her one time with my brother, and it, like, fell out on the road, you know, she was, she was a force, and, um, you know, sometimes kids in the neighborhood, not just, you know, me and my brother, people would stop by and see her, like, um, you know, she... There was just something fun about her, and, you know, I played a lot of cards with her, um, and she was a cat person. She had a couple of cats. She had this one cat for many years named Boopsy, but he was a boy, and he looks a lot like one of my cats that I have now, Ivan. And Boopsy was, like, feral, but he would, you know, be out all day, and then he would come home to her at night, and he, like, only would let her pat him, like, you know, he wouldn't deal with strangers. Um, but anyway, the sad thing is when my Aunt Kit started to age, and she was alone in her house, like, she did get senile in her 80s, and one day I was at my parents and my mother was like, you know, the it looks dark over, you know, in the windows at Kit's house. Maybe we should go check on her. And we did. And she had fallen in her bathtub. We don't know how long she had been there, you know. And then she ended up in a nursing home after that. And she was really pissed about the nursing home. Like, they had to give her a shot of Thorazine to, like, calm her down about the nursing home. So anyway, um, you know, my point is she was a character. She had good and bad qualities. I mean, I loved her. I miss her. Um, but um, I feel sometimes like my enemies and frenemies try to, like, compare me to Kit because we have the same first and last name and our birthdays are close and I can be, you know, a little bit like my Aunt Kit, like my personality and living alone and having cats and all that stuff. Um, but it hurts me because I do genuinely worry because I live alone and I have, you know, mental problems. I do worry that one day when I'm old, I'm going to fall in the bathtub and like, no one's going to find me for days, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, you know, and I, I worry, you know, I'll be, like, old and demented and lying in my bathtub because I fell. Um, so anyway, my mother, the last time I saw her on Sunday, compared me to my Aunt Kit. And then I got a birthday card from her just now that she dated July 13th, my aunt's birthday. And I just felt like somebody was trying to hurt my feelings, you know? Like, you're going to end up old and demented and lying in a bathtub with no one finding you for days. And so I did text her back, and I was like, you know, it kind of offends me a little that you didn't write my birthday, you wrote Kit's birthday. And, you know, she takes no responsibility. She was just like, oh, well, I mailed it on Kit's birthday. Like, she knew what she was doing, one of my enemies probably put her up to it, but still, you know, it's not that I don't love my Aunt Kit and don't want to be compared to her, but I don't want to be compared in the sense of getting old and demented and falling in the tub and no one finding me, you know, I don't want to be compared in that sense. So that's what I wanted to say. I'm going to try to let the thing go about my mother and Kit's birthday and comparing me to Kit. But you know what? My, mo my mother and my Aunt Kit are two very different people. You know, I learned things from both of them, good and bad. And I'm glad I knew Kit.
I loved Kit. I miss playing cards with her. That's it. I'm going to stop talking.